So besides areas that there's a lot of stuff going on, like any of the fossas, you're not going to be cannulating, generally speaking, in the popliteal fossa, you're behind the knee, or the axillary area. So whenever I do an anesthetic block there, for the, like an axillary nerve block, I'm going to be so careful because there's vessels, there's nerves, there's a whole bunch of things going on, and it's just really risky. The cubital fossa, I also do nerve blocks in that region. I'm, again, I've got to be really careful. So cubital fossa, absolutely. But also the cephalic vein near the lateral wrist, so kind of that snuff, anatomical snuff box area, is a bit of a danger zone. You want to be aware of aberrant and superficial arteries. So this one shows that the conventional radial artery just, you know, just goes on that lateral side of the anterior wrist and you can kind of feel that on yourself. That's where most people take a pulse. Every now and again, you get this superficial radial artery that traverses really near where you might do the cephalic vein puncture. And just know that it happens often enough. And if you give anesthetic medications, especially or antibiotics or things that really hurt, that's going to be extremely painful for this poor patient.